other frameworks uh, it could be uh, the combination of test ng with hello friends so in this video we are going to take interview of sneha agarwal she is a automation tester working with tcs let's get started hello sneha agarwal hi sir okay so you have experience of 3 year i guess right yes right i have 3 years of experience uh, in automation testing as well as manual and you are working in i am working in tata consultancy services okay great great so let's start our interview without wasting any time yeah okay so i'm going to ask you around uh, 10 to 15 questions so let's start with the question number 1 yeah. So, uh, you working as an automation tester, right? Yeah, right. Okay. So, in automation testing, what is the difference between black box testing and white box? Uh, so, black box testing is basically we are providing input and we are expecting some output. So, in black box testing, we do not uh, directly interact with the code, but rather from in uh, white box testing, we do interact with the code. We go through the code line by line and we do debug it. So this is the basic difference between black box testing and white box testing. And if we talk about automation testing, uh, automation testing is basically the white box testing. Great. Correct. And uh, I hope you work on Jenkins also. Uh, yeah, okay. I have uh, the working experience on okay, Jenkins. So Jenkins, what is parallel execution? Uh, so parallel execution means we are uh, executing all the text test cases at a say at the same time. So what it does, it basically uh, connects uh, the browser with with the test case. So if there are thousands of test cases, thousands of browser instances will open, and these those thousands of test cases will run parallelly. Okay, so you mentioned thousands of test cases so uh, let's suppose i'm having 2000 test cases so how much it gonna take time if i apply the same parallel execution to them uh so it depends that the test cases are of uh ui or for, or of uh, api if test cases are of ui uh, so it depends how many steps are there in test cases, but usually the API test cases takes the similar time. So if we consider that there are thousands of test cases, uh, they will take around two hours in parallel execution. Mm, yes, yeah, somewhat correct. So okay, okay. So what is regression testing? This is the issue. Yeah, yeah. Uh, regression testing is basically if we have developed the code and we are expecting that this code does not affect the existing functionality so we to check that we do regression testing and automation is one of the best method to do the regression testing yes yes i agree with you sneha yeah. okay so how we can decide that uh, one should use what automation tool in the testing in the framework or in the project Oh, okay, so it depends on what kind of testing we are doing. If uh, we have the web-based automation, we'll definitely, without any, uh, without giving it a thought, we would go uh, towards the Selenium. And if we are doing the uh, desktop-based ap uh, application testing, we would prefer UFT. Okay, UFT and Selenium. I hope you work on both, right? Yeah, yeah I have experience on both the tools. Okay, great. So, uh, what are the attributes of a good framework? And uh, if I'm not using any framework, can I automate my whole project? Uh, so, if we are not following any framework, it would be difficult to maintain all the test cases because there will not be any structured format. So, basically, the framework is developed uh, just to maintain the structure overall so that's why we do that and according to our uh, need we can choose the framework mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay uh, so you mentioned selenium right yeah 
Uh, so how long you are working with Selenium? Uh, from past two years, I am working on Selenium. And uh, before automation, you were, were a manual automation tester, right? Yeah, uh, around one year I have spent on manual. Okay, okay. So uh, what are the advantages of Selenium tool? Uh, there are many advantages of Selenium tool. First of all, it is open source. So anybody anywhere can use it. Uh, second thing is uh, Selenium is something which is easily available on Google. Like if somebody somewhere is getting some error, he can just Google it and some uh, other person would have posted something on Google. So it is very, very convenient uh, to uh, search our errors on Google. So there are many advantages of it. Uh, correct. Okay. I also work on Selenium using, uh, I work on the Chrome and Mozilla Firefox for our application. Okay. So yeah. in Jenkins, how we can schedule a job? Okay. So uh, in Jenkins, when we go on configurations uh, module, there are some fields and in uh, one field, there is the schedule jobs uh, field is there in Jenkins, where we can give our crones in which format or at what time we want to schedule the job. And by doing that, our job will get scheduled. Okay. So my last question of this interview. Yeah. Uh, so uh, in our automation, we have hybrid testing, right? So yeah. in hybrid testing framework like ng test or a Kukumwa framework, so you work on them, right? Yeah, right. Uh, so please explain what is this? Uh, so hybrid framework is basically which is uh, collaborated by two or more frameworks. Uh, it could be uh, the combination of test ng with data driven framework. It could be key keyword driven plus uh, data driven. It could be Cucumber plus test ng. So any framework which uh, includes two or more frameworks that is hybrid. I have worked on uh, keyword driven, data driven, test ng and Cucumber framework. Uh, it is just that syntax is different, different, but uh, running the test cases and uh, executing all the things uh, is somewhat like same. Yes, Neha, good. Right answer. Okay, so I will share your feedback with the HR and uh, uh, he or she will update you, right? Yeah, thank you, sir. Okay, Sneha. thanks for your time. Bye-bye. Yeah, bye. Thank you.